I've discovered a neat trick to find continuation patterns scalping on a one minute chart. Normally I look for reversals, but through that I found out when the market's actually not going to reverse and it's more likely to continue higher. So first off, I'm trading the NASDAQ futures on a one minute chart. I don't actually use any indicators for this. I trade purely on price action and just the movement of the market because indicators are really delayed reactions to the market. And if you learn to just read the candlesticks in the market, you're gonna be a lot more profitable and be able to see what the market is doing sooner than indicators would tell you. Now, first off for the strategy, the biggest thing is to know what kind of trend you're in. Every time you're in the market, you wanna know what the trend is. And based on my chart, you can see I have a really tight trend line drawn and then also a channel that the market is pretty clearly in at this point as well. And so from that, well, we can assume that the trend is probably going to continue higher. So the trick I like to use to actually spot when I think the market is going to continue in this uptrend is actually when it looks like it's going to reverse. And so a good example of that is this right here. The market had to move up. You can see it kind of went into consolidation right here and then it had a big bearish bar that broke lower. And so a lot of people would assume that that is a short signal that the market is going to continue lower. And that can be a really good signal to reverse. That is a signal I like to get in on a reversal betting that the market is going to go down. But in reality here, there is no big picture resistance up here or reason that the market is actually going to go short. And so other than this small micro pattern that is showing some weakness, there's no bigger picture reason to bet that the market's going to go down. And so because of that, it had a big green bar and the trend continued higher, making new highs. And then you can see going forwards, the market started to go into some sideways action it produced a really big bearish bar. And then the market all of a sudden reversed that with a really big green bar right afterwards. And then there's a couple Order, smaller yeah. green bars. And then that's what I like to jump in on, betting that the market is gonna continue higher. And then I like to put my stop right below this consolidation area because the idea is, hey, if it does break that consolidation area, well, maybe we are gonna reverse. And so logically, I think that's a good spot for your stop loss. And then from there, you're just looking for the market to continue higher. And you can see with this upwards trend line too, that the market bounced pretty much right off of that. And so that is a really good reason to continue higher. And so the market just starts to break higher here, which is really good. And I like to move my stop loss to break even after it kind of moves a bunch of my favor because, well, I don't want it to reverse and actually lose money on the trade. And then as it continues higher, I like to move my stop loss and trail it up pretty aggressively because I don't want to give back a lot of the money that I already made, right? You don't want to risk a massive pullback to potentially make a little bit more. It's better to get out and not be greedy when you're actually in a winning trade. And so the market comes down here and knocks me out, but I made a nice quick scalp off that trade. And so essentially what we're doing here is we're looking for the market to make a fake out in a certain direction. This is another example right here. And you can see that the market is a little more back and forth but the most recent trend here is an uptrend. We've made a bottom here where we're making higher highs and higher lows, and we're not at the actual highs here. I'm gonna assume that there's no big picture reason for the market to reverse here and look for this trend to continue higher. But of course, we wanna wait for the market to do some kind of fake out. Now, this initial fake out right here, you can see is a potential reason to look for that. But the key with these is wait for the market to consolidate for a little bit. Once the market consolidates and goes into those kind of sideways patterns that we had in the last two, that's when it's more likely to do some kind of fake out and then reverse and continue where you want. And so this fake out is actually kind of tricky if we watch this candlestick. And so what it does is it breaks higher and it looks like it's breaking out. And so that actually kind of gets a bunch of traders excited. And then what it actually does is this bar, it reverses. And so my thought process here was, well, we just made a breakout and the market looks really bearish here because of this candle. And so if we actually break the high here 
of this candle, well, that shows there is actually a lot of strength here. Think about it like this. If the market was going to go down off of this Where big signal right here of this candlestick going higher and going lower, it would have reversed from there. But in reality, if it's gonna make a kind of move up, pull back and continue higher, that's a really strong, strong signal. And it's more likely to break out and keep going higher. And again, going back to our trend, we always wanna be trying and sticking with the overall trend. And in this case, the overall trend is showing a bullish bias. And that's what we wanna go for. Now, there are the highs, and so we do wanna pay attention to that. But my intuition here on the trend is that we are going to probably break those highs. And again, once we kind of get the market to move in our favor, I like to move my stop to break even, take that risk off the table. And so as the market moves up, it makes a little bit of a pullback. I'm gonna move my stop above that. And so a big reason why I was okay going into these highs, this is a little bit advanced, is if we go to actually the ES futures, the NASDAQ and the ES futures follow very similarly, but you can see the ES now, which is what we're on, those exact same highs and that exact little breakout we had is much farther away. And so my thought process here is I got on the NASDAQ because I think it looked more bullish, but the actual highs from the S&P 500 futures are further away. And so it's more likely that the market will go up to there before it finds resistance. And so that's what I'm looking for. Going back to this on the NASDAQ where our trade is, you can see that we're already at those highs, but it's more likely that we break those again because the ES is actually farther away. And I find that the ES generally is what is respected more and it's more likely to follow that. And so the NASDAQ kind of jumps around here for a while, but it does eventually break higher and continue higher. And again, I'm going to move my stop and trail it up. A good way to do that is you can see I put this trend line here and just watching that as a stop loss. If the market makes a solid break of that trend line, I'm going to jump out. But if it looks like it's going to hold and it makes pullbacks off of that, I'm going to keep going with those swings. And so I like moving my stop up with the swings as well as with the trend line. And so that's what I'm looking to do here. As the market just breaks higher, this is a really, really clean trend so far, but it does look like it's starting to break that trend line. And so I'm going to get pretty tight with my trailing stop because I don't want to take those profits back from our scalp. And so it starts to kind of lose some steam here and it's going to knock us out here pretty quickly but that is totally okay because again we got a good scalp our risk here i think was about two to one in terms of how much we got for our risk and that is a really good risk reward and so if you want to learn more about this strategy and about my reversal strategy check out this video right here i will go way more in depth into how i look for reversal trades in the market That's a big ass line.